I want to I want to get my light. I want to set my light back up. I think I'll set my construction light closer in there and kind of show you what's going on. And man, okay. It looks like the uh, looks like everything's connected, okay? That's the first thing that grabs me. Well, before I mess with that, we'll, uh, I'll get you, I'll get you over here to, to kind of see what I'm, what I'm seeing. Boy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I may not have to cut anything after all. Oh man. We'll just get you over there just like this without shutting the camera off, huh? Okay. Okay, okay. Ah, see there? That's where the fan is. That's the, that's the fan. Right there. And you can see where the rat poop is around it. Here's some more. Over there. See how this, this duct, they couldn't just hook it on right there, see? They ran it from here. Loop-de-loo. Went way down over there. And then... And then circled around and came back and connected it right there. You see? So, remember I was saying at first I thought I might have to cut this, this double 2 by 6 off because I could only see that because I didn't have the insulation pulled out of there just yet. Now, now I can see where it is. And, uh, see I thought, I thought this duct uh, connection was off and it's not I'm not seeing that it's off and isn't that weird I'm gonna have to uh, see I can't really see on the back side of that I'm gonna have to inspect this this duct make sure it's not been chewed through over there and maybe they accessed it and crawled in through the duct. Initially, I was thinking, well, maybe they they climbed up the outside of the house and the stucco came up through the the duct from outside, crawled through here, just happened to take this Y most of the time instead of this one. Because this one goes over to the other the other bathroom. There's not much over there. There's a little bit of poop and that's about it. And thinking maybe they climbed down through here and they brought all their nest goodies through there. And then they made their nest right in that area. But if they did that, what's all this other poop doing here? And and you know it could be a uh, it could be a coincidence, quink a dink. There could have been a rat that accessed this area from inside, obviously, because we've caught we've caught a rat on those rat traps before. And look at here, look at this rat here. Yucky. I've seen three or four of them like that, so that tells me they've been in here from years ago. That one I found right down in here. I think there's another one down in there too. But, so there were rats in this area and maybe th those were the rats that did all this poop. And the one that was inside the exhaust, that one could have climbed all the way through this from outside and the other rats just couldn't access that area. You know what I mean? It could have been something like that because if this is all connected properly, looks like it is from here, doesn't it? Then it's like, okay, how did they get inside of this from the attic? And the only way would have been through at the side of the house and gone up through there. 
bump a bump a bump a bump a bump a bump a bump all the way down through here and years ago they decided to move and we were only getting stuff through there because when the wind when it's really windy the wind comes through here blows any uh, of the remaining nest that they had in there push and it pushes right through here so so uh, you know I'm not sure uh, what to do about that just yet. I'm gonna have to look at that. I may have to take the duct tape off and I don't know if they've got any screws in it. Sometimes they'll screw it before they duct tape it and keep that on there. So I'd have to pull the duct tape off, take the screws off, pull this off, pull this back out, kind of fish out and and uh, wring out the, uh, the stuff from this point on, you know to get all of that stuff out of there if I can't find any holes in this and then push it back up in there and connect it all back you know with with uh, the same screws maybe and new duct tape put it all if I know that there's no holes once I pull it out I can I can look at both sides of that see if there's any any um, holes where they chewed through this aluminum I mean it's possible and see, that, that's good stuff. That's why they use this kind of stuff so you can bend it and do all kinds of things with this ducting, the aluminum, and uh, hooking up to your exhaust fans. Okay, so I guess that's my, that's my next step is to look at this more closely first off, see if there's any holes. Then I, even if there's not, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to just bite the big one and pull the duct tape off of there get that disconnected and all that I think I think I'm gonna have to do that because because this whole box you cannot access this box anywhere else to get down inside of there and I know there's more leaves in there there's more poop in there and stuff I want to get that all cleaned out of there and uh, rehooked up before anything else. I think this part I'm just gonna have to uh, do without the camera being on is my guess. Because I don't think I can do it and not be in your way. You know what I mean? well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get in there at a different angle. It looks like Probably We'll see And see there's so much uh, Different things going on there. I see a big old huge air conditioning duct back in there So I'd be hard-pressed to think I could even crawl back through there uh, to get to the other exhaust fan later on Plus I'd have to access this one from here because where the wall is uh, There was some plywood on it So even if I were the plywood in between the two bathrooms up above the ceiling I think they use that for a draft stop in case of a fire or something like that uh, it Might have been a code issue is my guess and I wouldn't have been able to access this area <coughs> from there, so I'm glad I took this off. It's just a shame that it's going to be so difficult to kind of get to this area. And you know, there's a there's a square box here, and I might be able to. I might be able to somehow snap that, snap that off without, <coughs> without taking the duct tape off. You know, there's a housing bit on the end and I can see that it's moving and I might have to <coughs> uh, undo a clip or something inside the housing from in, in the, uh, in the bathroom. I may, might be able to take that off without taking the duct tape off 
without taking the screws off and then taking that whole section out um, and then I can snap it back in I'm, I'm gonna I think I might be able to before I start prying on it and trying to undo it now first that's why I do the extra effort go down check out inside from the bathroom first you know don't don't just say hey I can fix it just get a bigger hammer now's not the time to say that before we go over and check it out but you see the big you see the big duct in there you see the big duct in there um, even had I have crawled through uh, the other side I couldn't have I couldn't have gotten through there might be another duct on the other side but but see back in there where the where that plywood goes up there that's in between the two bathrooms so I couldn't even have accessed this area had I crawled through from the other side okay that's how much room there is crawling around over there um, is it possible yeah maybe but uh, we're only going to tackle this one like I explained before okay Let's see there's the there's that housing bit right here from here to there it goes square and then it goes to round and it kind of connects on here and I think I can pry that loose and that's what I'll try and I'll check it out in the bathroom first if I don't see anything there then I'll come back in here and take a little screwdriver or putty knife or something and see if I can dislodge anything around there to then be able to pop it off. We'll see. <laughs> 